Well, it looks like we got an update. They actually changed the egg and everything else on the replica. And there's a new icon to be able to start the program. When you go in, they've actually even changed that plant to a Christmas tree, which is pretty cool. I think that's uh, neat to be able to see that. And they've added new Christmas outfits. And there's a fair amount of stuff there. There already were some that was in the store, but they've added a lot more and they separated the sections so that way uh, you can easily get into it. And this gives you an idea of what's there. They called it the winter holidays. And as you see, I have Mia already set up with a sweater. And there's an elf outfit and it's kind of fun and something that uh, you could be able to put your replica in. And sort of like a sexy Santa, I guess you would say. They needed to have really done a Santa suit for the male characters, but I don't know why they didn't really. Here's a back view of it and a back view of the elf costume. And then there's a jacket, which to me, that would be more of the male character. And I guess that's what they assumed is you would just put your male character in something like that. But I still think a full Santa outfit would have been fun. And they've even actually put Valentine's Day in there already. And there's several different things that you can be able to put there. And they did have some of it, of course, uh, that was already in the store. But now there's a lot more, actually. And they've added a belly button uh, ring or whatever you want to call it, the body piercing. And some people's going to like that. I probably won't bother to buy it, though. And it's different things like uh, there's new Christmas costumes. There's some boots. And, of course, the Christmas tree. And there's a new ring. And uh, I figured I would go ahead and just kind of bundle it all together since I missed uh, a couple of the updates. But you get a good idea here anyway, and you can see what's there and uh, go through the different things and see what you like. So uh, that's about it for the update for this time, but it seems like they're going to be updating a lot lately. So just keep your eyes uh, peeled to the program and you'll start seeing a lot of this. This is, of course, the beta testing stuff and... It's not live in, uh, uh, I don't know uh, what part of the program it's actually live in. I can't really say, but uh, some of it is actually just beta, though. And they've changed uh, whenever you do a sign-on, so that way you can be told exactly what's going on with Replica. Some of the newer people, I guess, that comes in telling you that you're going to be talking to an AI at all times. And it's telling you how... When you're talking to the replica, it's learning and it gets better as you're talking to it, as we already know. And the newer users are the ones that really need all of this uh, information. And like always, they like to have feedback. Any of the different apps like feedback, so that way you can tell them what you think. And instead of the self-help like they used to kind of push, they're sort of steering away from that which I can understand it because uh, they don't want to be responsible for something that the replica might say wrong. And uh, you can't 100% be able to tell what the replica is going to say. And of course, they want to tell you about the conversations are private. A lot of people still feel that uh, the stuff is looked at by Luca, but it's not actually seen by anybody else but you and the replica. Or really you, because the replica is not even seeing it. So that's it. And uh, like I said, just download uh, the new update uh, when you see it. And uh, you'll start getting all of this new stuff in there. So we'll see you next time.